नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून यू आर वॉचिंग पी एम ई विद्या चैनल एंड एन सी आर टीज ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज राहुल वी वेलकम यू इन दिस लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश यू आर वॉचिंग पी एम ई विद्या चैनल चैनल नंबर फोर एंड दिस इज फॉर क्लास फोर्थ सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज द पोएम डोंट बी अफ्रेड ऑफ द डार्क मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी फील स्केरी एंड वी फील यू नो अफ्रेड ऑफ डार्क so let's discuss this poem and let's enjoy this uh, uh, topic in this uh, uh, session of english uh, i would like to uh, welcome miss tusha arora she is assistant teacher uh, tusha ji namaskar and a very warm welcome in the session namaskar sir so uh, first of all uh, we welcome you in this session uh, on pme vidya channel channel number 4 uh, we have our uh, guest we have our uh, guest means the audience the students the of class 4 so don't be afraid of the dark this poem is the topic of discussion today so what we are going to learn and what kind of uh, you know uh, creativity in today's session we can feel we can uh, enjoy it uh, good afternoon the viewers uh, today we have taken up uh, a topic which is quite common with our learners with our young children mm -hmm. they are quite afraid of dark mm -hmm. so that's why i have selected this topic okay. before we start the topic mm -hmm. i would like you and the viewers to observe the picture which we will be seeing in the next slide it means i have to be a student of class 4 today yes okay. yes so Please. can you see the slide yes let's observe the picture yes so the first question which pops our mind is what can you see in the picture oh, this is a very uh, lovely night scene i think and there is a star uh, there's a moon and the entire galaxy Okay okay now what do you see uh, when do you see stars and moon in the night in the night all right and suppose hmm. you are alone and you are in the dark at night which feeling will cross your mind i think that's the topic of discussion today afraid i i feel maybe i feel scary if okay. i am if i am if i am alone okay which means uh, you are afraid of the dark Yes. Might be. Might be yes. And uh, some of our learners might also be afraid of the dark. Yes, if we talk about uh, students of class four. Yes. So yes, indeed. Yes, our little champs might be afraid might of the be, dark, yes. which they won't be any more hmm. after we read this poem. Okay. So let us read a poem which is written by Ruskin Bond, uh -huh. and after we read the poem, we'll see what he has to say to our young learners. Okay. Okay, let's start with the poem. Mm. Don't be afraid of the dark little one. The earth must rest when the day is done. The sun must be harsh, but moonlight never. And those stars will be shining forever and ever. Be friends with the night. There is nothing to fear. Just let your thoughts travel to friends far and near. by day it does seem that our troubles won't cease but at night late at night the world is at peace so this was a beautiful poem written by ruskin bond mm -hmm. and now i will explain this poem to our learners to our viewers line by line so that they could get the meaning of the poem and mm -hmm. understand the reason why they should not be afraid of dark dark so let's begin line by line mm -hmm. the poem begins with don't be afraid of the dark little, little one. one over here the poet uh, refers to little one as the little boy mm -hmm. as we can see in the picture yes. that the little boy is scared of the dark dark, dark over here signifies night mm. the little boy is afraid of night the earth must rest when the day is done mm. okay uh when we play or mm. when we do our work mm. at that time we might feel tired so for mm. that we take rest mm -hmm. we take our sleep likewise earth is also doing a great job what is earth doing earth is rotating, rotating. around the sun yes. yeah it's a big task yes right so earth also needs rest that's why the way we take rest the earth should also take rest mm. that's why the night is very important so why we be afraid of night moving ahead the third line and fourth line is the sun must be harsh but moonlight never and those stars will be shining 
forever and ever. ever. The sun is tough on us. I'm talking heat wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as we can see, the summer is almost round the corner. Yes. And whenever we work under the sun ray, we play under the sun ray, we do get tired. The sun is harsh on us. Mm. We cannot bear the heat of the sun, but moonlight is always cool. The moonlight is soothing for our body, for mm. our soul, for our mind. And we love watching the twinkling of the stars. Mm -hmm. I think our learners, they enjoy the stars and the moon. Our learners, do you want to see the stars and the moon? I think yes, yes. they do want to see the stars and we the moon. We are actually, uh, nowadays we, can, uh, we would like to see and those are the little ones. Yes, they, want to see. They, they love the view of mm -hmm. the stars and moon and that's why night is very important. So mm -hmm. why we should be afraid of the night? We should enjoy the night. night. Moving ahead, be friends with the night. There is nothing to fear. Just let your thoughts travel to friends far and near. Uh, Rahul sir, do you have friends? Yes, I have many. Okay, and are you afraid of your friends? Why? We don't afraid our friends, right? They are friends, so why, why there is fear? Exactly. Hmm. So, if we become friends with the night, hmm. there won't be any fear, okay. right? We are afraid of strangers, mm -hmm. but we are never afraid of the friends, friends. we have around us. Mm -hmm. So, over here, Ruskin Bond is telling the boy that he should have friendship with the night and when he will be friends with the night, the fear will be gone. And in case if the boy is uncomfortable in the night, he should think about his friends, his relatives, his near and dear ones who live by, by his side or who lives away from him. In that case, he would calm down and he would be happy in the night. Now moving on the last two lines. By day, it does seem that our troubles won't cease. But at night, late at night, the word is at peace. peace. So over here, the poet is telling us that there are quite a lot of troubles we face during the daytime. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about the troubles of our learners. Mm. What are the troubles, the problems which our learners face? Mm. Class 4 students, I think uh, heavy homework given by the teacher, <laughs> that must be their problem, that must be the trouble for them. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a fight with their friend. Mm -hmm. uh, these might be the problems which our young bloomers must be facing. Mm -hmm. And these problems come to you when? During the daytime or night? I think during the daytime. Obviously day. Yes. And, but at night, the troublemaker and the trouble taker, both of them are sleeping. sleeping. The teacher is sleeping, the students are sleeping, parents are sleeping. There is no fighting, not at all, no problem at all. Mm. So, during the daytime, you might face a lot of troubles. But at night, the world is at peace. Mm. No fighting is there. So, what is more joyful to you, the day or the night? I think the night, the because night. the world is at peace. peace. So why be afraid of night? Mm -hmm. We should be friends with the night and enjoy the night. I hope now our learners are no more afraid of the dark. They are no more afraid of the night. Okay. Okay. Now moving ahead, mm -hmm. uh, we have seen that uh, in this poem, the boy is facing an emotion, which mm -hmm. was he was fearful. He was yes. Afraid. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of emotions which are learners, which we as people go through. Uh, so uh, the next slide would be related to the emotions. Okay. So you have to guess the emotions. We can, we can see the illustration on this uh, slide as well uh, because the illustration gives the uh, expressions of, you know, fear, scary and uh, the boy is very uh, fearful. Exactly. The boy, uh, the boy is very fearful mm -hmm. of the dark, mm -hmm. uh, but after the poet Ruskin Bond has Help, given us, him. Help yes, him. he has uh, helped him mm -hmm. getting away with his fear okay. and uh, helped him, uh, the, helped the boy to be friends with the night. night. Okay. Yeah. Now we have to guess the emotions, uh, which we will okay. be seeing in the next slides. Okay. Okay. The first one is, what Angry. you can see? Angry. Yes, yes. Very, the the very emotion angry. is anger. Very anger. Very All angry. right. 
uh, I would request our viewers and learners if they can also guess the emotion and write the same on the comment box. Mm -hmm. The first one is anger. A N G E R. Mm. Okay, moving ahead. Let's see what is the next emotion. I think this is wow. Wow, surprised, amazed. Yes. Yes. S U R P R I S E. Surprise. Moving ahead, we have the next emotion which is uh, crying. Crying, okay. Sad. Sad, yes, yes. The emotion is sad. S A D, sad. Hmm. Oh, joyful. Joyful. Happy. Happy. H A double P Y, happy. Rahul sir, when are you happy? Uh, what makes you happy? When I have less homework from the class. Okay, okay, <laughs> and, yes. Uh, and when I have, uh, you know, uh, my favorite meal in my tiffin box. Exactly, exactly. And this is the, the I, I, uh, this is the uh, uh, points I am trying to, you know, connect with the class four students. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So similarly, the case is same. Yes, yes. You are right. just uh, acting like the learner yes, from I'm, the class four. I'm, I'm the learner from class four. So okay. when I get the meal, uh, you know, in my uh, in the tiffin box, as per my choice, as yeah. per my taste. Mm -hmm. So that day, I'll, uh, so so I'll be very happy and less homework from the class. And if I have two two, you know, uh, games period. Yes, yes. Students enjoy right? a sports period. Exactly, okay. exactly. You can completely relate <laughs> with the learners. Okay, thank very you very much. Very nice. Moving on to the last emotion, mm -hmm. which is any guesses? Uh, I think uh, this is very uh, confused emotion. Confused. Okay. Uh, let me give you a hint. Mm -hmm. uh, this emotion is connected with the poem we just read. Afraid. Yes. 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 This oh. emotion is that of afraid. You can see a boy. He is a bit scared. He is a bit right, nervous. Right. Yes. So the emotion is afraid. A-F-R-A-I-D. A In the poem, we have seen quite a good number of new words. I would like my learners to be acquainted with the new words as well. So the first word was afraid itself, mm -hmm. which means filled with fear. Mm. And I have mentioned the usage as well okay. of the new word mm -hmm. which the learner might learn and can use it in his or her sentences. The first sentence would be the boy is afraid of Rat. rat. As we can see in the picture, the boy is running because he is afraid of rat. I think boy is acting like Tom. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we can say that. Okay. Yes, the second word is dark, D-A-R-K, mm -hmm. which means with little or no light. As we can see in the picture, the sky it's is extremely, extremely dark. dark and our learners might get afraid of the dark sky but after reading this poem, I hope the learners won't be scared any more of the dark sky. The right. third word is rest, R-E-S-T, -E which means a period of relaxing. Mm -hmm. Let us rest on the bed. We can see in the picture, a boy is resting on the bed. Mm. What's the fourth word? If you can read out, uh, Rahul Fourth sir. word is harsh, yes. ungentle in action or effect. Yes, the sun was, was warm, warm and, and harsh. harsh on us. Yes. yes. Uh, even today, we can see it's so hot today and yes. the sun is actually very harsh on yes. all of us. Yes. The fifth word is forever, forever. which means permanent for all time. Mm -hmm. True friendship lasts forever. forever. In the picture, we can see two girls who are hugging each, each other, other and we can see the true bond of friendship in the picture. Right. Right. Uh, moving on, the sixth word is trouble, trouble which means difficulty, difficulty or, or problem. problem. The boy is having trouble with his homework. We can see a boy who is trying to do his homework, homework. and uh, he is having a some big trouble. trouble doing his homework. Right. I think he needs some, some help, help from his parents. Parents and teacher if he is a in teacher, school. Yes. yes. Or maybe elder siblings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Seventh word is cease, cease, which means to stop, stop or, or end. end. The, he ordered his men to cease fire. We can see an army person who is ordering other subordinates. Over here, cease fire means to stop shooting. 
Mm. Over here, fire refers to shooting. Mm. The last word is peace, which means the state of being calm. The dove is the symbol of peace. peace. All right. Uh, I hope the learners now know the new words and mm -hmm. they can use the same in their other sentences as well. Now let us discuss what we have comprehended from the poem. There are three questions which are popping up in the screen. Uh, I would request you, sir, yes, to please yes. uh, answer the questions which I will be asking. And let's see if you have uh, heard the poem right or not. Right? I, I have heard it right and I would like to tell you because we, I would like to share some uh, names. Those who are watching this session and they are sending us, you know, answers. Veena Singh and uh, Sangeeta Sharma and Karbi Anglong. I think she is from Difu, Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya. All right. So this is the uh, very good thing that, that yes, they are uh, paying attention in this uh, uh, poem. So let's watch the presentation on the screen and I would like to answer on behalf of you or you can send us your answers in the comment box as well. Right. So let's watch so the presentation the first on the question, screen. The first question is, what was the boy afraid of? Mm, dark? Yes. Night? The, yes, the boy was afraid of dark. dark. The boy was afraid of night. Hmm. The second question is, what does the earth do when the day is over? What does the earth do when the day is over? It shows the night. Yes. Because it is rotating in somewhere uh, the other part of the world. Yes, uh, uh, night. All right. And uh, what does we all do in the night time? We sleep. We sleep. We take. We take rest. rest. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Likewise, the answer for this second question would be the earth takes rest at night. Likewise, mm. we do. The third question is what does the poet wants us to do at night? Okay. So we sleep, we take rest. Yes, we take rest and we should be friends with the night, night. and we should not be fearful of the night. Night or any type of dark. Yes, darkness. yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. These were the answers of the three questions which we uh, prepared to see whether the learners could comprehend the topic or not. Now moving on, uh, we have the next slide of uh, rhyming words. Uh, first of all, let me tell all my learners uh, what does rhyming word mean? Rhyming word means those words which end with the same or similar sound. For example, fun, run, seat, beat. These are the example of rhyming words. We can see that uh, they have similar sounds. Now I would request, uh, sir, to please uh, help me match mm -hmm. these rhyming words. We'll oh, start sure. off with the first word. The mm. first word is dark. dark. What, uh, sir, just observe the second column and see ki which word would rhyme with dark. Dark, I think the rhyming word would be bark. Exactly. Rest. Dark, dark, the, the, uh, the word which matches with the rhyme of dark is bark. bark. The next word is rest. So it matches best. With the best. Sun. Uh, fun. Fun. Uh, and the viewers and the learners, if they want, they can also write the answers in the comment box. They are sending. Continue. Yes. They are sending. I think Seema, Awana, uh, sent the, uh, you know, the third question on the previous slide. All right. So she sent a correct answer of dark. Seema, Samir Iqbal, and Prabina Jha. All these students, I think they are, uh, they are watching. This and is very sending. this is very pleasant yes. to see that uh, viewers are actually comprehending the topic. Active and participation. Actively we, participating we must acknowledge in the discussion. their you know efforts. So this yes. is the active active involvement in the live session. Right. So let's right, move right. ahead. Moving ahead. The next word is never. So let's wait. What should be the rhyming word for never? Yes, our viewers. Anyone? One one user saying ever. Never. Yes. The correct answer never. is ever. Just ever. Next is night. Night, yes. Sangeeta Sharma also said never ever. Never ever. And then the next word is night. night. What should be the rhyming word for night? Night. It's uh, where, fight. Night. Fear. What would be the rhyming word for fear? Uh, near. Near. Second last word is late. Late. 
What should gate. be the rhyming word? Gate. Yes, gate. I think these two these two words, uh, you know, easily related to the uh, school. If yes. you are, if you are late, gate will be closed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. Sir can completely relate with the school, the learners and the kids, their situation. With the help of these sessions, I am enjoying my school days. So I, I think I, I, I should reciprocate the things. When, when, I, uh, you know, when I was in school and I was getting so much uh, love, so much uh, knowledge, so much uh, uh, things from my school. So I am reciprocating the same here with the, yes. uh, with the learners of these class 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Right, so let's sir. move ahead. We have hardly 5 minutes in this session. Let's right, watch sir. the last word of this uh, rhyming words. The last word was peace and it is rhyming with the word seize. Seize as we have heard in the poem itself. It means to stop. There are quite a good number of words which we have learned in hmm. this uh, poem and I would request our learners to see the meaning and the usage of these words and try to use these new words in your yes. daily life. life. I hope the poem is clear and I expect my learners not to be afraid of the dark anymore. anymore. <laughs> yes, and uh, this brings us to the quotation which I have specified in the last slide. Don't be afraid of dark. It gives you opportunity to shine, shine like, like a, a star. star. So this particular quote is uh, for our young bloomers. You should never be afraid of dark. You should fight back all your fears. Whatever afraid you, be confident, face it. And uh, you will come up like uh, a star uh, with the shining colors. 100% and I must say, uh, we must acknowledge we have so many stars in this session. Uh, Santanu Bhoi, Sangeeta Jha, Rupmati Bodhya, Anuradha Mathur. I think all these uh, participants are watching this session uh, live and they are sending their answers, their uh, you know feedback mm -hmm. through our YouTube channel, NCERT Official. So this is uh, indeed a wonderful session and I think there is no more, uh, you know, uh, dirt. There is, no, there is there is no, no fear, scope yes no scope there is no fear. scope of fear. fear there is no scope of darkness right uh, in the mind of our viewers mm -hmm. our learners and i hope now we all will not be afraid of dark <laughs> or anything we face in our life right so yes. uh, so we have night now we will utilize it we sleep we take rest and we uh, try to shine like a star exactly so exactly. we have we have four minutes i think we should uh, read this poem again so that we have enough time to read it again and uh, understand it in a very well way as we just did it sure so sir. let's watch the presentation again on the screen yes, and sir. Uh, ruskin bond uh, you know writes these best lines i must say so let's watch the presentation again on the screen please yes so the poem is don't be afraid of the dark I am reading it again and I would request my viewers, my learners to repeat it after me and since I, we have learned the new words, I hope we can comprehend well what mm -hmm. the poet is trying to say. Alright. Don't be afraid of the dark, little one. The earth must rest when the day is done. The sun must be harsh, but moonlight never. And those stars will be shining forever and ever be friends with the night there is nothing to fear just let your thoughts travel to your friends far and near by day it does seem that our troubles won't cease but at night late at night the world is at peace, peace. so i think uh, we can pray for the peace in the entire world and yes. uh, entire world will sleep in the night and they will do something in the day as we do. Thank you very much, Mr. Shah. You came here and to describe this wonderful poem with the wonderful joy, with the wonderful enthusiasm and wonderful, you know, approach to the little ones so that there is no scope of darkness, there is no scope of fear, uh, fearfulness in their journey ahead in class 4th, class 5th or class 6th uh, and so on. Thank you very much for your time and Thank for you, this sir. wonderful session. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. So this uh, English session comes to an end now. Don't go away. Keep watching. We'll be right back with the next session of webinar. Keep watching PME Vidya channels. Namaskar. <laughs>